Uh, I can't believe my Bluetooth shutter thing crapped out on me. I'm so mad. This was my this was my dream. I think we're a little tilted today, but what's up, guys? Chris here from Mainly Mesh. Just wanted to give you my initial thoughts on the Tribe Seven Fort Seven. I haven't actually watched Greg from East Coast Eyes review of this yet, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating stuff. No, no intentionality behind that. So, customer sent this in the other day. It took me a little bit of time to get a decent pocket in it, and just kind of wanted to to give you my my overall thoughts. So, in terms of the of the face shape of it, which is obviously the the first thing goalies are looking at, uh, I hear a lot of comparisons between it and the shield, but it's it's a very different head than the shield. The shield is actually still. Um, they're the same height, but the shield is actually just a little bit more narrow. So I would compare this more to the Maverick base. The base is a little bit more egg-shaped, a little bit wider. I'd say the base looks more like this. Um, but this is still a very wide head. And so when you when you compare it to the Eclipse, you can see it just a little bit more. You know, this the Fort Seven definitely has more surface area uh, in its width. So what that does is that creates it makes it a little bit harder to string. Not not because of the sidewall holes. And actually, Tribe Seven did a very good job with the number of sidewall holes. And really, I mean, really the width too. If you if you had a pair of pliers with you, you could absolutely fit two um, two string loops in each of the holes. The top string holes are a little bit small, but you know, I really had no issue stringing um, stringing a top string. You know, it got a little non-traditional with the placement, but nothing crazy. Um, could easily fit everything through twice. I didn't know many of you guys did triangle top strings with goalie sticks. Um, but that would definitely not be an option on this head. So then, but kind of going, overall it strings up pretty easily. Um, like I said, it took me a few tries to to kind of get a pattern that I was a fan of, but um, it's pretty neat. It, the Also the sidewall has a similar structure to the Warrior Sim Rail technology. And what I mean by that is that it, it kind of comes up into a point that I can't really show you very well but it, it allows you to string the strings a little bit further to the outside and, and kind of protect them and tuck them away but in terms of um, the other unique features of this head the first thing you're going to notice too is it kind of has that scalloped scoop that the proton and superpower lines are known for which is a cool way of of reducing the weight of the head um, I actually didn't weigh this and I don't know why um, but I'd say, I'd say it might be an ounce lighter, an ounce or two lighter than the shield, but not by much. Uh, I'd say it's right in that 10 or 11 ounce range that most of the goalie heads are. The other cool feature about this stick is, and if I deconstruct my pocket pounder real quick, put it on a shaft for you. What's kind of cool is it has, it almost reminds me of the, um, when STX did the 10 degree heads. I mean, they still do to an extent, but you're gonna see that if I put this stick vertically, the top of the scoop is actually reaching over in front of the plane of the shaft, which is a really cool concept for a goalie head. I mean, usually why you want it, wouldn't wanna do that in a field stick is because it's gonna add a little bit more whip and be a little funny when you throw. And I haven't actually thrown with this yet since it's a customer's. Um, I mean, I might get a few passes with it on the field, but for a goalie with the length of the stick, that shouldn't matter too much in the throwing, but what it can do when, when trying to make a save is it'll actually deflect the rebound down to the stick. A lot of you goalies will, will notice as your head breaks in that it starts to fade back a little bit. And now for most goalies who natural stance, you know, naturally our hands especially as we push up to make a save, you notice the angle of the head 
is deflecting backwards. So as your head begins to warp back and the force of the shot pushes the head back even more, you've seen shots where a goalie gets his stick on it, but the head deflects back and the shot ends up in the goal. I definitely think this is a cool, a cool way of addressing that problem and you'll see how dramatically curved over the scoop is as well. It's almost at a 30 or 40 degree angle. And you know, that really could be a cool way of addressing that issue so that when you're making those saves, it is still deflecting the ball down into the pocket. And as, you, as you're making the lower saves and your stick goes back as well, it's still deflecting it down into the ground. So I thought that was a really cool um, a really cool aspect of this head. I'm interesting to see, interested to see how goalies um, interpret that on the field. It's incredibly stiff. I know Tribe 7 heads are known for being more flexible, but the B7 was very stiff too, which is kind of, they've designed them to be a little bit more flexible. But if you guys have seen the Savage, Savage 7, that thing doesn't move at all. Um, so it's, it's a stiff enough head. You know, it really just strikes me as, as a very solid, inexpensive option for goalies out there in the market. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to save a bit of money. It, it might have some pretty cool, unique effects. It's got a really wide surface area so that you're going to be getting your stick on a lot more of these shots. And really hats off to, to Tribe 7 for, for doing some great work. Um, I think all you goalies should, should definitely consider having this head in your repertoire. And, and it might just be a gamer. It has a very solid throat construction. So you're really not going to be seeing any issues there. I just, um, I think it's a great offering and I'm really pumped to see Tribe 7 get their, their quirkiness into more of the, the mainstream consumer circuit. So huge shout out to Tribe 7 for this head. Uh, like I said, we're going to be digging into to more of these goalie tutorials and hopefully as I start getting more solid patterns for these, for these heads, doing some more GoPro tutorials and, and, and walking you through how we like to string them so you guys can string them up the same way. But thanks so much to Tribe7. I don't know why I'm thanking them. They're just kicking butt. But that's about it. Ask any questions about the head in the comments down below. Like, subscribe. You know the deal. Thanks so much. And I will catch you guys next time.